if I had to see it myself, I never would have believed it. <laughs> Gosh, my feet hurt. There was a time when I could walk around in spike heels all day. There was no too pain too great to bear for the sake of me. <laughs> Back then, anyway. And these are two inches high, and they are torture. You think a noose around the neck is fun for me? Why do we have to get all dressed up at somebody else's wedding anyway? It's gonna feel good to take this tie off. <laughs> At least your eyes didn't look like dorks. Like I did in those stupid dress. I mean, why'd I have to be in the wedding just because Christy got sick? I'm not even that close with Ali anyway. Now there's gonna be pictures of me on Facebook looking hideous everywhere. She could have one last bridesmaid. They had nine grooms. They needed nine bridesmaids to match. And you're almost the same size as your sister. She did not get sick on purpose. Yeah, I think she barked when she looked in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We had no choice but to have you take your sister's place at the wedding. I feel sorry for your mother and me for having to pay for this expensive piece of cloth. Why don't you be a good job? Why don't you wear this at your senior prom? See our money's worth out of it. Oh! Dad! Jeez. Why do I get stuck with the lame hair? I'm going to take a shower and using this ugly thing as a bath mat. Good night. We love you. Good night, honey. I guess we better get ready for bed, too. What's quite a lavish affair. Every stretch limo just to haul the bridal party around. Shelly's gonna give her sister a fearful on the phone tomorrow. <laughs> well, lavishly is coming in hot by me. Your family spends big bucks on weddings. That perception must have cost you a Two daughters of her own to marry off, I'm getting nervous. Maybe we should follow my family's wedding tradition instead. I know I'm going to be sorry I asked exactly what is that tradition. <laughs> Darling, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> we find a happy couple, two plane tickets to Vegas, and hire Elvis to officiate at the wedding. <laughs> like <my sister. laughs> There's a wedding chapel on every block. Even a dry food. And it's a hell of a lot cheaper. <laughs> I knew I'd be sorry I asked. <laughs> See, <laughs> weddings have always been highly <clears throat> traditional in our family. Until now, Ellie's was quite a shocker. <laughs> you know, I think my father would have said that his mother was the classiest out there. And she was. Aunt Mary gasped when she walked in on Jim's arm. She was always referred to her as poor Rose, <laughs> as if she was pitiful. And in she walked, looking radiant and beautiful, and I must say, dressed in really good taste. That was the short supply today. I can't believe how worried I was that Mother bringing Jim to the wedding would look bad in front of the family. I expected to be all full in the face with embarrassment. But then I heard people at the other table say what a cute couple when they went out to dance. That made me feel good. I really am happy for her and Jim. They do make a cute couple, but <coughs> The embarrassing jewel on the dance floor was the bride and groom. <laughs> I'd like to be able to defend them after all. I have been to a couple of your relatives' weddings. Well, shaking my head in disbelief, they made your family look good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hurt. Hold on. You've 
you've seen my sister's wedding video. With Elvis gyrating and singing Viva Las Vegas, I do believe you were speechless with envy. <laughs> I'm gonna take you to Vegas on our next family wedding so you can experience it for yourself. But for now, I'm calling it in. Oh, I hear keys. Mother must be home. Um, she said Jim had an appointment at 9 o'clock in the morning, so she wasn't going to stay over there tonight. I really want to hear what she has to say about the wedding. That should be interesting. But I'm going to let the two of you discuss it without me. Good night, sweetheart. Take these things in for me, will you? Wait up for me. Oh, no, it's not that late. I don't know why Steve rushed off, but I do want to hear what you thought about the wedding. Sit down. Oh, personally, I had a good time. And Uncle Ted does sound like your father. It was nice to hear the warmth in his voice when he welcomed me. And he was good to Jim, too. And Aunt Mary? Aunt yeah, Mary, well, that's a different story. You know, I know my hearing might not be as good as it was, but I could have sworn she gasped when she saw Jim. I had all to do not to laugh out loud. And as far as a reverence for tradition, I found the wedding anything but proper and funny in the way. I was laughing like a schoolgirl when she wasn't staring at me. Mother, she did gasp, and I wanted to laugh. I knew the whole thing, too. Um, Aunt Mary is such a stickler for decorum, like she's Miss Manners, but her mouth was hanging open. And when you went out on the dance floor to catch the bridal bouquet with all the other single women, she got all red in the face and she was sputtering. <laughs> she never expected you to do anything but sit in your chair and rock and envy her for all that she has. <laughs> oh, I know it sounds mean, but I've never understood why Uncle Ted could be so pleasant while his wife is so oh. Well, you know your father always said that Aunt Mary was direct and to the point and no sugar coating for anyone, not even her husband. Do you know that Uncle Ted took her child as his own when they got married? She's had the best of everything. That's why the wedding was so extreme and odd in a way. And as you say, Aunt Mary prides herself in social graces always reprimanded everyone for bad manners. That's why I'm surprised how she took the wedding. Oh, oh what's in the bag? I, I didn't know. Oh, Lois was open, Miss Joy. Oh, it must be important. I'm going to dust my paint. My law can repaint it. I don't understand. I no longer need to rock. <laughs> Life is too short. I'm having too much fun. I don't need it anymore. I don't want it anymore. Besides, it's a tradition to buy new mothers a rocker for their babies. So I'm going to give it to someone in the Q-tip. You mean like the very untraditional bride? No attempt to hide that pregnancy. <laughs> Allie, <laughs> I have never seen a pink spandex bridal gown before. <laughs> Tomorrow night, 